sun, then Rasu, Mercury, then Kosu, Venus, then Earth, us. That is Jasum. You are on Barsum, John Carter. Mars. Oh, that's a clip from the science fiction adventure, John Carter. Our movie guy, Aaron Lafferty, saw the movie earlier this week and gave it a good review. Aaron, I've been seeing a lot of uh, advertisement for this movie. Right. I'm pretty excited about it. It seems like a, a family movie. Uh, it's it's PG-13, so um, not for the little kids. Um, and it is over two hours long, so just keep that, wow, in, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. um, if you like science fiction, I think you'll like this movie. If you like the, uh, th this is a Edgar Rice Burroughs tale, the guy that, that did Tarzan. This is uh, his probably second most popular character is John Carter. Okay. And um, so this, this is uh, 100 years old. This character just this year is now 100 years old. It's been, it's been out there for this long. And this movie has kind of been in development for 70 plus years. Wow. Um, I was reading something and uh, getting ready for this that if this movie had been done back when they first did it, it would have been the first animated movie before Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Oh. So that's how old this has been in development. Wow. And it probably wouldn't look nearly no. you like the effects that no. it does. And actually, that's a good thing. You know, as a sci-fi fan, um, sometimes you see aliens or you see effects in action movies where the effects don't look good. Yeah. And in this one, the, what was it, $250 million budget definitely Ooh. paid off here. Well, the lighting wow. just looks so amazing, even in this clip. What, what did you like the most about it? The storyline, the characters? I liked, I liked, I liked the that the, the characters were good. Um, this, the story was interesting. The one thing that I had a problem with, and maybe if you had read the books you would know this, but I'm guessing none of us have here on the set, is there's a lot going on as far as information. You've got, like, everybody's got these different names that you've never heard before. The Like, Mars is called Barsoom. Earth is called a different name. So there's all these different things and different yeah. names that you're, you're, like, you almost need, like, a little score sheet and to keep track. sometimes that's easier to read than to see in a movie because right. you can always go back right. and use it. You're, you're like, what was that guy's point. name? What was that person's so name? Somebody, Where are they from? So if somebody read it or wanted to see it, but read it first. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's yeah. sometimes it translates better in the book, like like mm -hmm. Rachel's saying. Um, wow. Sometimes it's it's better on the big screen. I know that for full disclosure, there was one gentleman sitting behind me in the screen that said he had read all the books, like all the books with this character, and he didn't like it. So oh, so maybe reading the books oh. is going to take away from the, your movie experience. So well, we'll I think see. that John Carter is maybe someone that we haven't heard as much right. about. Right. And it will definitely so you don't elevate have a preconceived, that story. Yeah. 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 Um, it, is in, it, it is in 3D and IMAX 3D. I'm going to tell you to save a couple bucks and just see it in 2D. Okay. okay. Good advice. Right. There you go. Serious. All yeah, right. it's good. Everything's going to 3D now just right. for the extra It, it kind of seemed like an afterthought. It wasn't great 3D. It wasn't like Avatar 3D okay. where it was really immersive. It was, it was kind of an afterthought where they added stuff. Okay. Yeah. Some and other movies in the theaters this weekend too. Yeah, so we have um, Silent House, which at least in concept is interesting to me. Um, it's just Designed to look like a one shot. Um, I which, heard about this. Which Alfred Hitchcock's Rope did the kind of the same thing. Um, this is, is supposed to recreate some disturbing events that happened to a young woman trapped in a haunted house. And it, this is uh, Elizabeth Olsen. She's the, the younger sister, sister of Ashley. Ashley yeah. Yeah. So um, basically, she's stuck in this house. Uh, a lot of things are going on. It's basically it's your typical haunted house movie, but at least in concept, it's that one shot idea that at least intrigues me. Yeah. It's been well, getting okay reviews. And you can't really tell where they've made an edit because you never lose the. Right, because they keep the continuity yeah. of, of the camera moving. So when they when they do have to set up for a, a new shot, they, they keep everybody in place. And huh. so they, it, it's supposed to look like it's recreating the events minute for minute. It's rated, it R. Are, rated so R. Obviously, your kids normal away. rating for a, hor a good horror movie. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, depends on the mood. You've got yes. more of a sci-fi <laughs> family. Yep. You've got your horror flick. Mm -hmm. What else do we have? Um, we have an Eddie Murphy movie. You know, Eddie Murphy keeps making these movies. He's trying to, you know, reestablish himself. This uh, this movie's called A Thousand Words. It's rated PG-13. Basically, the concept is he has uh, crossed somebody. Uh, he's kind of a wheeler-dealer kind of guy. He's told too much of a lie, and he gets cursed with... Um, he only has a thousand words left to say. If he reaches a thousand words, he's can't talk anymore. Die. Wow. Huh. So, that's what that is. It's kind of like you know, guy. You know, yeah. minimal words. <laughs> this, this is getting the worst reviews of the weekend. Yeah, I'm guessing uh -oh. so. Plus, Lorax is still out, and that what did yes. he do? Seventy million dollars yes. last weekend. So, it's so, really expected. So even that. if Lorax loses 
half of its audience, it'll do 35 million, uh, which will probably be John Carter this weekend. So okay. Okay. we'll see. Those, John Carter and Lorax will be the two at the bigger. You have an top. update on actually a film that was made right. uh, with ties here. Right. Genesis Code is now out on DVD, came out on Tuesday. Now, this isn't. Um, where you'll be able to get it everywhere. This is one of those things where it's available at Christian retailers, Christian bookstores, and then online at the movie's website. Mm -hmm. And I have all that on my blog. Okay, fantastic. And we also have some great uh, picks for us this week. Right. Last week we were making our Oscar picks recap. Yeah, I still haven't paid. I owe these guys something. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> no, I thought we were going to decide. No. We won. Right. <laughs> you have to get what I give you. We'll split okay. a Subway sandwich. What yeah. are your picks? Five dollars. Um, so, two Oscar movies. Um, keep it in the Oscar idea. The, de the Descendants, another way to save you money this weekend. The Descendants yeah. is only four bucks now. It's at Planet Woodland I only. I really want to see this one. So check out The Descendants, uh, obviously an uh, Oscar nominated movie. And also on DVD and Blu-ray and Netflix and On Demand is Hugo. Uh, the movie that was probably considered by many the second best movie of the year if you if Oscars went that after way. is probably the number two movie after The Artist. Wonderful. So check those out. Okay. Wonderful. And you have uh, all this stuff on your great blog? Right, on my blog and on my Facebook page, um, which, you know, Facebook's doing the timeline changes now, so I've, I've updated and embraced the... Kurt the Russell's on your Facebook. Stuff. That's Absolutely. so sweet. Kurt <laughs> Russell now, right? That is so, and you're really so. good on Twitter, too. That's good. Right. I'd like to have that. So, and the, the, the uh, Genesis Code information's on Facebook. Oh, that's too. the one I, I see in the notes here. Jack and Jill, that's the one. That Adam Sandler? Yeah, the worst movie of 2011. Really? We got some in uh, the yeah. Razzie. Uh... Yes, a lot of Razzie. Razzies for that Ooh. one. I think it got as many Razzies nominations as the artist got. <laughs> oh Have a great weekend, you guys. Yes, be blessed, yeah. everyone. That was.